and I get HIV from a public bathroom. I had no idea that there were other people like me out there living their lives. Ask your healthcare provider if Big Tarvi is right for you and visit BigTarvi.com to view the important facts, including important warnings. Hello there, welcome to Plus Talk on Plus Life. We're all about turning positive into a plus. Oh, I'm so happy to see Mariah back with us. Hey Mariah, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing well, I should say you've been on before. Mariah from the Sex Ed Files on TikTok and Instagram. So we're gonna talk more about sex ed. What's new, what's new in the classroom, Mariah? We usually do like an anonymous question box where they can ask sex ed questions without anyone knowing who asked, no name attached to them. But now they're like raising their hand. They're like, I don't care, who knows? I just wanna know this thing, so can you tell me? So I feel like they're a little bit they're brave. They're more brave than what I've seen. And I I wonder if that has to do with social media and TikTok and, you know, they just want the information they want. And I think that's that's cool. I think it's really cool. Obviously, here at Plus Life, we talk a lot about HIV and HIV stigma yeah. and education around that. What are you seeing in terms of um, you know, especially we learned over the summer, the World Health Organization has officially said that if you are undetectable, you present zero risk of transmission. How is that relating in the classroom and the way you're teaching um, sex ed around HIV? Yeah, I think there's still stigma, I would say, and there's still a lot of misinformation, but I think because information is more accessible, on TikTok. I usually center TikTok a lot because not only am I on it, but I notice a lot of a lot of young people are there. That's where they're getting their information because it feels comfortable. Um, so in that sense, in, in the same way where like students are more brave, they're asking more questions. It's the same thing with HIV education and anything related to STIs. They now know, okay, this is a real thing. This is a real risk. It's not just the scary myth out there that used to be a rumor in high school or middle school. It's a thing. So let's talk about safety. Let's talk about the facts. How do you just casually drop HIV into a uh, prepubescent or early adolescence vocabulary and conversation? I talk about HIV, I guess, from a holistic perspective, not just the scientific piece, like HIV is human immunodeficiency virus, right. but also its implications on different communities and um, what we've seen or how people have reacted to HIV throughout history. Um, yeah. So I also think that that context can be really helpful um, for youth because then they can kind of see where we are now and, um, not only like medical adv advancements, but also just how we're able to talk about it a little bit more freely and understand that anyone can get HIV, but at the same time, it's very treatable. And a lot of people live with HIV happily. Yeah. So I know that you said, you, you know, anonymous question time, or maybe there is a brave student, one or two student who put their hand up. What's the most common question you seem to get around HIV from, from these students? Yeah, I get a lot of questions about, can I get HIV from a public bathroom? Can I get HIV from swimming with someone who has HIV? Can I get HIV from sharing a toothbrush, it, sharing a toothbrush with someone? So, you know, those questions are really, they stem from myths about HIV. They stem from the stigma that exists regarding HIV, where people think like, you can just get it by hanging out with someone who has HIV. It's that fear-based, mm. I guess, understanding of HIV. Um, so those are the main questions I get, which, you know, it's a very easy and simple answer. And I'm able to say, like, these are the fluids that can transmit HIV. And those are not usually introduced in these casual, in this type of casual contact where you're swimming right. with someone who has HIV. Or you're brushing your teeth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so w yeah. W is there when you, you know, I think every child develops at their own rate. And, and I, I, you know, especially in this country, parents have very strong opinions about when is a right time to talk to their, you know, young people in their household about sex and sex education. But do you have any sort of baseline tips for parents 
um, of young adolescent parents, um, especially talking around, you know, what options are available when it comes to HIV prevention, whether it is things like PrEP, condom use, and things like that. I feel like because like sex education is so broad, you can be having these conversations at any time from a very young age because human sexuality as a whole has to do with every aspect of our lives. But with HIV in particular, I think as soon as as soon as young people and children are you know, interacting with others or um, either coming across like, movies and media, maybe yeah. they hear about STIs or HIV, like, and they have a question. I don't think there's anything wrong with talking about it and learning whenever they want to. <laughs> I wish we had more time because we never <laughs> do have enough time on Plus Talk. You've got to check out Sex Ed Files on TikTok and Instagram. It is uh, Mariah's gem. She does a great job. Mariah, thank you for taking the time and just having a catch up with us and a chat about all things sex ed and HIV and sex positivity. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. It is always a pleasure and we'll have you back too so we can keep this awesome. conversation going. In the meantime, that is going to do it for this episode. If you want more information, check out the website pluslifemedia.com and remember, you can follow us across social media. We are at Plus Life Media. We'll also put Mariah's um, handles up there too so you can check her great work out across TikTok and Instagram. Until next time, be nice to one another and you know what? Have some sex and enjoy it. We'll see ya.